I'm Owen Waldron. I'm Alec Henry. I'm Parker Lawrence. I'm Caleb Yusuf. This is the Juice Podcast. Today we are discussing TikTok, its sustainability, and how it has affected us as teenagers. Let's get into it. According to CNBC, TikTok says 1 billion people use the app each month. What do you guys think is the greatest threat to its domination over all social media and just apps in general? Well, basically what I've started learning is every few years, there's just a new type of social media, but it's all involved with the scrolling technique. Instagram scrolling of, I remember in, back in the old days that we had Vine, um, you just scroll constantly on that and TikTok has kind of implemented into that mm. um, and they've find a, found a way to like create some type of addiction. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel maybe a few years someone else is going to create something similar with a scrolling technique, but just something where it's going to push all the audience f- members from TikTok over to their platform gotcha. and that could be a pretty good threat. Yeah. I mean, definitely, like, there's got to be someone who's thinking of an idea now that's obviously going to take over. But like you said, TikTok, with the scrolling, even, like, social media is now, like, Snapchat and Instagram, I know you guys are familiar with, they try to have, uh, Instagram has Reels, Snapchat has um, Spotlights, and it's, like, the same thing. It's a scrolling technique, but TikTok kind of rules over that, and, you know, they don't really compete with TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I think that like TikTok's like so far ahead of everybody else that nobody's gonna catch up. Or like, their sustainability is like all up to them. Unless they implode, I don't think anyone can like take them over. Mental health is definitely something that has been talked about a lot in our generation. It's a big problem that people are open about, and it's no secret that social media has contributed a lot of damage to teenagers, high schoolers, young adults, and it's caused a lot of mental health problems in our nation and around the world do you guys think because tiktok has been correlated with a lot of mental health issues that that would affect the sustainability in any way i i definitely feel that's not really going to affect much i feel we've pretty much just gotten used to having social media around us all the time i mean everyone has a phone yeah so we have that power just to get on our phones constantly and scroll it's almost like sitting down and just chilling out for very long periods of time just scrolling on your phones like exceptional at this point like okay we've pretty yeah we've pretty much accepted it but i also believe that like social media addiction is a real thing a thing with addiction is like even if you know it's harming you that doesn't really like affect it like you still mm. want to go on it you yeah. still want to see it and another thing about like the scrolling is like you also like you can't see what the next video is so like you'll see like a video that you really like and you'll scroll and the next one's boring and you'll yeah. scroll and the next yep. one's boring and then you find that funny one again. You're always on a search. For yeah, so even video. if like like uh, it's negatively impacting you, you're going to want to go on. I think the biggest problem with TikTok is that it's changed our attention levels. And I think a lot of what TikTok has done is it's made teenagers, young adults, little kids even that are on the app not be able to sit down and focus on a topic for more than a few seconds or more than a few minutes. And I think that's a big problem about, like, we have to sometimes hyper-focus on certain issues. And I think we should be able to, like, focus on a book for a long period of time if we're able to, if we want to. And I feel like TikTok has definitely taken that away from us because it's so instant. It's instant gratification. And we can, if we're bored after 10 seconds, then we scroll, we scroll, we scroll. So we've talked about TikTok, the negatives, the positives, how it's been really sustainable and how other social media platforms may be a threat. Where do you guys think TikTok's gonna be in the next five years? A year and a half ago, Donald Trump tried to ban TikTok from the United States. And now with all the political controversy that's going on, yeah. I feel like it could be a threat to like security, national security mm. and stuff like that. So they could yeah. use an excuse to ban TikTok from us. Point. So it's not even about like losing popularity. It's, it's about, more like, about safety. Yeah, that's and, like, really the good situation, point. the unfortunate situation. Right. That's really good. I think TikTok is here to stay. I'll give it five, six years. Yeah, no, I agree with Parker. I feel like TikTok is definitely going to be here to stay for a while. And then I feel it's going to start slowly dying off and it's going to start transitioning over to another app. I think due to national security threats, especially in the time of conflict that we have right now, I don't think TikTok is going to be nearly as popular or sustainable. Well, thank you so much for listening to the Juice Podcast. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you next time.